Okay guys, Dr. Eric here with Jeff. Uh, we're gonna demonstrate the move we just alluded to a little bit, the unbalanced kettlebell incline press. So Jeff is gonna demonstrate uh, basically what he's doing is uh, he's demonstrating today on very simple weights because again, today we wanna keep Jeff alive. We don't want him to die. So basically he has an unbalanced weights um, in, in his hand. You can do this with barbells if you don't have kettlebells, but the key is to have a, a, a good difference in weight from side to side. So the advantage of this is similar to unilateral training, right? It's, it's un, unbalanced load, and so it's working obviously your core to keep yourself in a stable position, especially if you're doing like military presses or incline presses, but it's working your CNS system, your central nervous system, which is very key. Obviously your, your mind-body connection uh, is, is focal and very important for all muscle movements, especially if you think of things like deadlifts and squats, but all big compound movements, obviously there's a core between your brain to shooting a signal down your nervous system to your muscles telling them to contract and do a certain movement so uh, there is an importance there so you want to train your heart you want to train your muscles you want to train your CNS system too is something that people forget about uh, you don't want to overdo it but again by having that unbalanced movement you're telling your body you're uh, you're doing something a little different here and it's stimulating it uh, to respond and to react accordingly again we're all about growing the muscle burning off the fat making your body as inefficient as possible so this is another way to kind of trick your body to make it inefficient make it think a little more you know, when you think of like running and doing things over and over and your body just figures out and adapts to it. So we want to keep it a little unbalanced, literally, and make, make your body work a little hard to get the goals you achieve. And we, I've also achieved my second goal, which is to keep Jeff alive. So thanks, guys. Good.